I seen y'all talking about the yuck mouth shit and how he went on live. But you notice how the nigga kept trying to make you laugh and deflect the truth. He didn't say nothing about nigga. You didn't know Pac, nigga. You did not hang out with Pac. You didn't. That's a fucking lie, nigga. And anything that I said was the truth, period, nigga. Anything that I said you did, you did it. So you, your only choice is to talk your way out of it. And you know, I'm not trying to make this a riff in between the regime. Let me just make that clear. I love all my niggas, you feel me? I even got love for Yuck Mouth. I love that nigga, but he's just a weird-ass nigga. He has a weird personality. And when you connect it to some, some shit like that and you a realist, sometimes, you know what I mean, you're going to bump heads. And me and him always bump heads because he's always doing some shit that he shouldn't be doing. Calling himself a boss or, you know what I mean, the leader. The nigga's not my leader. He don't, he don't lead shit. That nigga don't know how to get a fucking dollar off these streets. Nigga can't be no leader if you don't know how to feed your motherfucking family when it's famish time. You know what I mean? You gotta know how to, you know, shut your motherfucking trap in Ramadan. And that nigga's a loud talking nigga who don't want to bust a fucking grape. And you know, it just pissed me off when I seen the nigga posting pictures of Noble and going out his way to go against the grain. You know what I mean? Knowing it ain't all good. Trying to play the middle instead of just being quiet, nigga. We understand that you friends with both of us, nigga. But if you ain't putting up pictures of me too, then you going against the grain. Feel me? Also, I wasn't feeling the shit about the nigga, you know, throwing my nigga Sebo under the bus. Now, me and Sebo... We've been hanging out a lot lately, you feel me? And that nigga's a good nigga, you feel me? Been knowing him for years, but just, I got a chance to really understand him recently. And any nigga that throw Sibo under the bus, my nigga, or go up against, you know, like, I, I'm starting to understand, you know what I mean? Because a lot of real motherfuckers are not just finna be around for too long. You'll give somebody a chance or an opportunity to show you their real side, but... You know, Bo's a, a real nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? As of myself, you feel me? And and I just can't understand people who, you know, I think you should have just be quiet and shut the fuck up. You got albums with Sibo. So when they ask you about Mazi, you should just be quiet. Shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. You know what I mean? You give him respect, but you, you give your nigga respect. It's a problem right now. You got to side with your nigga, man. All this... In between trying to be diplomatic about shit, that shit is faggot shit, bro. In this game that we in, you cannot do that. Period. So, that's where my gripe came from. You know what I mean? And then, you know, it was another thing, motherfuckers, was one guy asked me. It seems like, you know, because my first topic on my YouTube shit was three things that people didn't know about Pac. Man, listen. You don't see me making no motherfucking teeth. Tupac t-shirts and Thug Life t-shirts and, you know, them niggas be doing shows. Niggas went over to Germany and done a whole tour on some Tupac tribute shit. And, like, niggas be really doing weird shit overseas. People are suing these niggas overseas right now for doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And me knowing that, I never seen Yuck Mouth around Tupac. I barely seen Noble around Tupac. Noble came around Tupac. When Pac was just about to die, my nigga, he didn't really know Pac. So to have him in control of everything and doing all this shit for his benefit, and then people like Yuck Mouth chiming in who didn't know him again, like that shit is just weird to me, my nigga. So I'm supposed to sit back and just listen? Motherfucker like the realist calling me around this time in the morning with a known other blood nigga that I know from the projects that I've been knowing for over 25 years call me, don't know how these niggas got my number, well, no, I do know that my nigga Parlay Ben had my number, but I'm saying, call my phone on some street shit about this nigga Yuck Mouth going in the police station, giving the police statements, and giving people phone number to the police. It is no excuse for that. You're not supposed to say nothing in the police station, but call my lawyer. I'm not getting off the shitter. Keeks. This nigga Keeks. This for my nigga Monster Keeks. Watch this. My nigga on the foe yard right now. You got a flush, nigga. You got a flush every time. Every time. Every time you cut one, let one go, you, you got to flush it. 
Man, ain't no, this, let me explain something to you. We need to fight and let it go. My nigga, you know what you're saying right now? This nigga done been robbed for jewelry and embarrassed and, you know, even pressured to put his homeboys in situations. This nigga should have told him, call your nigga. This nigga picked up the phone and called the realist. He called him. So once you follow one instruction, should tell you to do something, you follow one instruction, nigga, you a hoe. I'm not finna call none of my niggas. I'm finna take that ass whooping. They already had him. If that was what they was gonna do, I'm gonna tell Suge, like, what the fuck type of nigga you think I am? I'm finna cross my niggas. You already got me. Do what you gonna do. But I'm not picking up no phones. I ain't following no instructions. So that's why they fucked him up. Because the nigga followed instructions and called his nigga. You know what I mean? And that's why him and the realist fell out. I would have been mad at Yuck Mouth too. Calling my phone trying to set me up for Suge Knight. And we supposed to be partners. I just seen you ten minutes ago. See, y'all don't be knowing the facts. It's just, the problem is it's a lot of niggas that's connected to that nigga who have no choice but to go against me and keep, you know, advocating this nigga's fuckery. They have to because they don't have a life other than trying to show up to a show and stand next to him and maybe knock a bitch or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's a jump-off point for a lot of these bum-ass niggas just hanging out with niggas like me or niggas like him. See, if you really know me, you know what I mean? Niggas want to hang out with me, I don't hang out with nobody. For real. Like, nigga, I probably I got my friends, like I'm saying, I could count on my hands. Motherfuckers that seen me personally, that hung out with me in the last 30 days, nigga, pfft, very few. Because I'm not trying to hang out with niggas, period. That's why I'm, you know, me and Bo hung out. Me and my nigga Highway the Money Man hung out, you feel me? Like, solid niggas. Like, why do you need other motherfuckers around? Anybody, and this, of course, it's been other niggas around. But nigga, pfft. They, you know, it's like when Wack came around for the first time. I don't speak to them. I'm like, what up, my nigga? And keep going. But I'm sure when I leave, you know, they on the phone with they bras and shit. Like, yeah, well, I was just hanging out with Gonzo and Sebo and my nigga Highwood. You know, it's a popularity contest, my nigga. But I'm just not with the bullshit, my nigga. I'm really out here getting money, my nigga. Outside of, the, you know, uh, legit money to where, you know, you hang around niggas and hanging packs and shit when you, I don't know. We was all broke. You know what I mean? We thought we wasn't. But when you got $10,000 to your name, you know what I mean? You juggling the same $10,000, nigga. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. All of us have more jewelry on than money that we had in the bank. Niggas that have a nice car, you hustle up, hustle up, hustle up, go buy the nice car. Nigga got him about two or three thousand left. You know what I mean? Car might have cost you twelve to fifteen just to put down and dry the shit off the lot. Nigga got three thousand dollars in his pocket, twelve thousand dollars worth of jewelry on and a twenty thousand dollar car. Trying to figure out how you finna get back up. You looking good though. You looking good. But some of these niggas, man, I remember these motherfuckers couldn't pay their motherfucking cable bill, bro. But a motherfucker, you know, they'll go on Instagram and try to make you feel like they really getting money. That's why I could, niggas ain't finna, yuck mouth for never motherfucking uh, 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 take a shit on live. No, because it's all a facade. He's never going to let you see him without a beanie or a hat on. I don't give a fuck, nigga. That's some real nigga shit. Nigga gonna always get dressed before you go on live. Nigga, that ain't how you really living. You feel me? People want to see you. What you really doing? They want to see your kids. You feel me? They want to see my son when he got pink eye and daddy is home. You feel me? I ain't going live in no motherfucking club. You got to 